Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a monthly home bargain haul. Quite a big one again, um, same as last time really, but I found some really good bits. I'd say it's your fault guys, I keep watching these home bargain hauls. Um, I've watched Danny yesterday, I'll try and link him down below. It just made me want to go to home bargain a lot. So yeah, I popped in today and got a lot of bits. So I'm going to try and do it by category, food cleaning um, household and self-care so i'm going to start with the boring bit first the foodie bit and bear in mind this is a month's worth so let's get started uh first thing that i got is this uh, white wine uh quite a cheap one i'm not going to be drinking it i will be cooking with it i don't really drink alcohol so yeah i'll keep that and then i'll freeze the rest i didn't know you could freeze wine but i think that's a really good idea so um i do like a creamy chicken with wine and mushrooms so that was 249 uh really boring uh green giant sweet corn i couldn't find them in the supermarket to be honest then I got some of these Italian herbs. These are the cheapest I can find. Uh, they are 59p and I have a grill and I just pop the chicken on the grill with this. Not only it leaves my grill clean, it's also very flavoursome. Uh, what else did I get? Uh, that's the first time I've seen these. I got two packs. They are the Belle Vitaminis Honey and Chocolate Chips. There are six packs in them. And 157 calorie. I don't think it's too bad. So I got two packs. This one was open, but I counted. Um, there's actually the normal amount in there. So they were one pound forty nine. Um, sorry if the video is a bit funny. I've actually fractured my little finger last week. So the way I'm holding things out is a bit weird. I'm actually on a tripod and my phone doesn't fit in the phone holder case so yeah let's hope it'll be all right for now okay let me get some more bits as you can imagine that's been fun little treat wise i got three of the vimto fizzy ripper the girls love this they were three four pounds um again another treat uh they are these tango roly liquid candy roller so i got two apple they're 69p each two and one strawberry and one raspberry i got a pack of chewing gum i actually go through three or four of these per month i've actually worked it out but i bought some in asda yesterday so i've only picked up one pack and actually i wish i held off and bought this from home bargain because they are so much cheaper then i saw these uh which i'm going to try they are the bliss salted caramel whip bar i'm planning to join slimming world soon so i know these are quite good as a treat they were 99p i bought this lucasade um lemon and lime I was really tired whilst I was shopping and I thought this is quite fresh. I love lime and lemon drinks, especially in the summer. Put them in the fridge. They were one forty nine for four bottles, but I've just realised they're quite a short date. They go off, well, best before July 2020. Then I got some tortilla wraps, which I forgot to pick up on my shopping trip yesterday in Asda. Um, I got some Kinder Bueno, which I will pop in the fridge because it's really hot. And some Milky Bar Crispy Rolls. And that's it for the treats. I was trying to be a lot more reasonable this time because um, even though it's for the month, I just, oh, we're cutting up, we're cutting off all the crap and just going to stay on fruit and nice, um, healthy treats. <laughs> Okay, so this is the boring part, so you can skip if you don't want to see this. Um, I bought a scraper, I need to do some filling, and this is quite good. I like how thin it is. I'm just trying to build up my uh, DIY box, and that was 129 Then I went in for these, because I tend to replace them quite regularly. They've actually gone up in price, but they are the oven... Um, things like that it just cooks it very evenly and I actually use it for pizza 
So I bought three of these. Then I got this oven liner now. I bought a pack of six oven liners on Amazon and I got absolutely ripped off when I saw these. I was fuming, but uh, this was like under 130. Um, under one pound thirty, and you cut it to size, and I just think it's really good. When I clean my oven, it takes me no time; just throw it and replace it. So, yeah, I don't know how it's going to work with cut to size, but you can pop them in a dishwasher. They are really, really good. So, yeah, I got these. Then I got a pack of fifty food bags in small uh ziploc bag two packs well one pack of large and one pack of small we're going to go on a lot of picnics so needed to stock up then i got two packs of the swing bin liners i keep one downstairs one upstairs we run out of the one upstairs i actually didn't check the literage oh 50 liters so that's fine this is like a lazy um hack Two packs of roasting trays. I use these to do shepherd's pie and things. Um, saves me from washing up and I just put it in a bin. 69p for a pack of two. I know I bought some from Tesco once and it cost me like two quid, which is such a rip off. But yeah, I've got four packs now. Which lasts me a while. It's just, you know, when it's hot and things, you want to cook, but you don't want to faff around with the the cleaning part and it takes a while with the glass glass dish and things but anyway um i got anti-slip mat i bought a sofa which the cushion keeps sl slipping off um so we're going to put this underneath hopefully it will be all right um you can cut it to size and yeah 149 for that and then i got uh two packs of the extra large kleenex tissue box i like the square size it just goes better in my bedroom I put it in a little cubby hole and then I got this I always seem to get these missing you can actually recharge it which I have the gas canister for it so yeah just got one of these okay now I'm just gonna move on now I've got a few more bits to show you actually oh yeah now uh, cocktail sticks not very interesting but 500 piece for 79p just needed some more of these. I love to have olives and things. So instead of like fingering it, um, we just use cocktail stick. Okay, then I'm just going to... Let me see if there's any more boring bits. Yeah, there's a few more. I bought two packs of uh, AA batteries. The girls have got into my battery box and kept putting uh, batteries into the Xbox remote. I said to them, they're wireless, you need rechargeable batteries. So I actually invested on Amazon. I bought some rechargeable batteries like this for their Xbox remote control. So yeah, apparently life is different. They, they, they were using it with the lid and I said, no, it's wireless. You should. Anyway, <laughs> it's sorted now. Um, okay, moving on. I bought this Citronella candle. For my conservatory this was 1.99 it's a very big candle and it's just to keep like mosquitoes and things i have like a sort of pond river thing stream at the front and we do get a lot of mosquitoes and flies and yeah so i thought i'd put that in there and then very excited about this i bought the wickford and co strawberry eaten mess i've actually finished three candles recently so i decided to invest in more these are only 2.99 i find that the wick does go into the wax quite a lot so you know when you do get a lot of wax uh, sometimes i tip it so the wick doesn't get buried in there but yeah i got this strawberry eaten mess and this guys smells absolutely amazing i can't you really need to to have a scent and see how it smells and then i got a very summery scent this is the pineapple crush and this again smells amazing um so sometimes late in the evening i just light up the candles all around the house and it just gives such a nice atmosphere and it's just so relaxing so yeah 2.99 compared to the yankee candles where they are more like over 10 pound definitely um this is so much better 
okay moving on this is definitely not a needed purchase but if you know me you will know that i'm obsessed with bees uh, we do have a lot of water bottles so i will definitely donate some that we have but this look at this this is a bee print water bottle with a straw um like i said we're gonna go on a lot of days out and things and we can have our own water bottle and this was only 1.99 i think it's part of the let's have a look at the range it's part of the uh this range botanical discovery and i absolutely love bees i've just ordered myself a nice uh, mid-season coat with bees on it from jewels and a bee scarf so this will go perfectly then another boring purchase i got the uh, weed killer because i do have astroturf but the weed seems to come through and we definitely need a weed killer so i invested in one of those okay moving on to cleaning products um i did go a little bit mad but i was happy with some finds anyway two packs of the apple wipes i actually prefer the poundland or wilco range but these i keep them in my car everywhere i just seems to go i just seem to go through so much of these but these are only 59p for a pack of 50 so yeah i've got two of those um i got a double action foma uh, plug cleaner thing this is actually much cheaper than the leading brand I got two packs of the duck um, pine toilet cleaner. Now, in the summer, I, I've switched to preferring minty, piney smell to clean my toilets. Um, I tried the fruity scents, but I just can't get used to it. I've used it. They did like a limited edition of this, which I showed you in my last haul. Um, but I just prefer like a fresher scent especially in the summer when it gets hot so i do go through these a lot and that's the cheapest i can find them 99p um again i got the uh pine disinfectant cleaner i do i have a three-story house so some cleaning products you think what's she doing with it but i keep them on each floor and this will be to clean the bathrooms i um, love these products they're just amazing I got the flash bicarbonate of soda. This will be in my storage cupboard because I'm using one up. But this is an amazing product. Slightly expensive, but it does clean really well, especially like white faces and things. I absolutely love this. So that was $1.99. Uh, I got uh, Carex, Carex, <laughs> Caring Hand Wash Refill. Always need hand wash. Uh, then I found these now I know like some people rave about this and some people say it's rubbish but for me I don't expect it to be a crease releaser I, I just spray spray it on my bed when I do my bed every morning I spray it on the cushion on the bedding and it just leaves a nice smell I love the leno the blue leno so I'm really excited to try this slightly expensive 2 dollars but it was the first time I found it and yeah see how it goes um later on i might just like mix my favorite laundry conditioner and some water and just use it like that so yeah really excited to find these and then went slightly mad with the F fabulosa so i got three of these this is the lemon mint leaf i got the wild rhubarb and I got my favorite one, which is the pineapple and coconut. So really, really excited to try these. Um, again, this is a repurchase. This is probably my 10th time. Okay. Next, I bought some refill. Uh, this is the Airwick Life Scent. $4.99 for a pack of two. This is the Mystical Garden marshmallow raspberry and rose so mine ran out in my kitchen didn't have any refill they don't they do run out quite quickly um so yeah i repurchased and the boring purchase i got some elbow grease rubber glove because i'm going to be doing 
um, a lot of cleaning this weekend, especially now it's cold. Well, it's meant to be raining. It's not as hot as it's been in the past few days. So, yeah, got some of these. And I got the Mountain Pine Arpic Toilet Block. Quite boring, sorry. And that was it for the cleaning stuff. Next, self-care. I got two of these. These are the Magic Bath Bomb thing as a little treat for the girls. It's got a bath bomb and you get a little gem in there. This was on the 60p, which I thought was really good. I don't expect much, but it's just a novelty of a bath bomb and finding a little treat in there. Then I got the Bubble Tea Bath Crumble Peach. Absolutely love a bath with some crumble or bath salt. So really looking forward to trying these. And the pack is resealable. This was under £1.50. So yeah. Um, slightly <laughs> women buy. Got two packs of um, silk and satin sanitary towel. One pack of ten packs. And, and I got two pack of the Andrex um, toilet wipes. And then last few bits, I got this BB cream. Uh, I've heard like really good reviews about this. So I'm looking forward to trying it. I'm looking for something that is light in the summer. Uh, so I decided to get the light if it's too light I will get the medium next time but these are just $1.99 so looking forward to trying these I got some aloe vera gel um, for my face or if we go in the sun too much and things this is really like um, refreshing this was under a pound so yeah it says cooling soothing and moisturizing for all skin type and I've heard good things about aloe vera so looking forward to trying those for the girls i got them some shampoo not sure if this was the cheapest but it does suit their hair it's the garnier ultimate blend argan oil um shampoo and conditioner i'm trying to insist with juliet to use the conditioner more because she does have really long hair now so it does get a little bit dry and this is for the very dry unruly hair so these were 1.99 each and then lastly, um, I saw it on Danny's vlog, um, is this toothpaste. Now, this was $1.99. Apparently, the toothpaste is really nice and you get a free toothbrush with it. Um, I do have electric toothbrush, but I do use manual manual in the morning, electrical in the evening. Uh, don't ask me why. But yeah, I thought I would try it. Uh, quite cheap for a toothpaste again. I use the Sensodyne normally, but I thought I'd give this a go. And yeah, guys, that is it for this uh, home bargain haul. It's quite long. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video if you want. Comment. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys soon. Bye.